Dr. H. Richard Miller IV, also known as Rich, is the Helen Faison Dow Chair of Urban Education, Professor of Education, Professor of Social Work by courtesy, and Professor of African American Studies by courtesy, as well as Director of the Center for Urban Education at the University of Pittsburgh. Previously, Dr. Milner was the Lewis Autry Betts Associate Professor of Education in the Departments of Teaching and Learning and Leadership, Policy and Organizations by courtesy, as well as the Founding Director of the Graduate Program Learning Diversity and Urban Studies at Peabody College at Vanderbilt University. At Vanderbilt in 2008, he became the first black person to earn promotion and tenure in the entire College of Education's 225-year history. He is a policy fellow of the National Education Policy Center. His research and teaching and policy interests concern urban education, teacher education, African American literature, the sociology of education. In particular, Professor Milner's research examines practices that support teachers for success in urban schools. Professor Milner's work has appeared in numerous journals and he has published five books. His book published in 2010 by Carter Educational Presses Start where you are, but don't stay there. Understanding diversity, opportunity gaps, and teaching in today's classrooms, which represents years of research and development effort. The book is considered a bestseller as it has sold more than 10,000 copies. In addition, this book has been re recognized with two awards, the 2012 American Association of College, Colleges for Teacher Education Outstanding Book Award, and the 2011 American Educational Studies Association Critics' Choice Book Award. In 2006, Professor Milner received an Early Career Award from the American Educational Research Association, the world's largest educational research organization. Over the last two years, Professor Milner has appeared on the top 200 Edu Scholar Public Presence Rankings published by Education Week. In 2012, Professor Miller was honored with the Ohio State University College of Education and Human Ecology Distinguished Alumnus Award. Currently, he is Editor-in-Chief of Urban Education and co-editor of the Handbook of Urban Education with Kofi Lamodi, published with Rutledge Press in 2014. But most importantly, Professor Miller has been married for almost nine years and is a proud father of identical three-year-old, well, actually four-year-old now, Twin daughters, Anna and Elise. Dr. Miller. I must admit, when uh, when I received the email, when I opened the email from Lynn, inviting me to uh, to be with you there, I thought it was a joke. So, uh, <laughs> uh, similar to, to uh, Shirley, I am not a science educator, but I am uh, completely committed to the education of of all students. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Lynn for uh, inviting me. She is, uh, I think she's a kinder. I mean, I, I have, she's, she's hardworking and I really appreciate uh, your dedication to the work uh, that you're doing. I, I want to begin by the spirit of critical race theory. That's right, I said it. Uh, I want to, uh, to begin my, my comments with, uh, with a story. And that is, it's a story that actually uh, resonates with me uh, in many ways because I think it speaks to uh, some of the challenges that teachers face, but also uh, to, to broader issues that, that students face that we may not necessarily uh, think about, especially regarding the questions uh, related to what good teaching actually is. Uh, I've been conducting research in the middle school for, uh, for several years, so I have developed these relationships, I thought really solid relationships with, with, uh, with teachers and also students in the school. And there had been a shooting, a robbery in the community where I was conducting this research. And the robbery was committed by some students, high, high school students, the feeder school uh, to the middle school where I was conducting this research. I can't see you, so if you're, are you kind of following up? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's what good teachers do, right? Good teachers, you want to engage what's going on with folks, right? Uh, just say amen every now and then. <laughs> But uh, so I, I was conducting this research, and we, uh, we, we come to a place where, uh, so, so after the robbery, I visited the school several days later. And these were high school students, a couple of them, these were three students, two of them had gone to the elementary school where I was conducting this research. So when I got, on the, when, when I got to the school, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, uh, on the grounds of the schools, of course, the, the students were still talking about the robbery. In the classroom, the students were talking about the robbery. Uh, among and between themselves, they were passing notes 
about the robbery in the corridor, they were talking about the robbery in the, uh, in the cafeteria, they were having conversations about the robbery. But in, the, but, but, but in terms of the instructional practices, or in terms of the interaction between the adults and the teachers and the students, the robbery was not mentioned. Uh, and so, uh, and, you know, they were posed, students were posing questions like, I wonder where they got the gun, I wonder what's going to happen to them, how many years might they get, uh, and, and the like. And so, uh, as a part of our reciprocity, uh, as a researcher in this school, and yes, we should, there, there should always be reciprocity, by the way, in terms of when you're, when you're conducting research uh, in a school or working with folks who are giving you their time and resources and so forth. Uh, I was conducting, conducting professional development with the, uh, with the teachers. And so we developed, Ken, I thought, a pretty decent relationship. You know, we, we were working on issues of culture, uh, really trying to, I was really working with them to, to try to help them bridge the content they were teaching with the students with those they were working. So uh, during this professional development session, I posed a question. I said, you know, I, I, I've noticed that, that no one mentioned the robbery. There are no instructional practices that, that sort of uh, took up the thing of the robbery and so forth. And when I tell you those folks in that room, Ganged up on me. These were people I thought we had we had developed. I thought we had developed a relationship, you know, together. And one after the other, they gave me reasons why they thought the robbery was completely inappropriate for them to uh, to engage. What are some of the things you think I may have gotten in terms of why the robbery was inappropriate uh, uh, to, to to take up in class? Anybody? Just yell it out. Not related to the subject. It's not. I got that. This is not related to the subject I teach. Absolutely. What else? Horrifying. It's, it's horrifying, right? Okay, good. What else? It's structured in the, the subject. Right. It, it takes them away from the subject they should be teaching. Yes. What would you say? You stir them up. Right. You might stir them up. And furthermore, what might happen is they might feel like this is something that uh, they should do. It might get them upset. They might uh, actually uh, develop practices uh, consistent with the robbery. But the most consistent point I got was it definitely won't show up on the test, and how dare you, Professor, oh. tell me that we should focus in on something that, uh, on an aspect uh, of, of, of teaching that might not show up on uh, the standardized exam. And when then after the and after one teacher uh, expressed that uh, sentiment, uh, everybody in the, audience, in, the, in the class said, I mean, in the, in the professional development said, yeah. Right? So they all, they all kind of sat there. Uh, so in the midst of, in the midst of this, and, and, and then there was a teacher who sat in the very back corner. If I, sat, if I set my computer up on the left side of the class, of the, of the uh, library, he sat on the right side, as far away from me as possible. If I set it up on, the, on, on this side of the room, he sat on this side of the room. Right? And if he sat with his arms folded, I think the, the administration essentially said he had to be in the session, which is why he showed up, right? So. Uh, and, then, and then he spoke, right? And I was like, come with it because I've been waiting on you. <laughs> uh, and he said, and furthermore, right, he felt, he felt comfortable because everybody else had named him on me, so why not? So, so he said to me, he said, and furthermore, I teach science. What in the world is a robbery? I teach math and science. What in the world is a robbery have to do with my teaching of math and science, right? And so the point, we can, we can spend time sort of engaging the kinds of instructional lessons or the kinds of instructional opportunities that might be uh, embedded in the, in the robbery. But my point is two, two points, really. One is, how, why are we in a situation where we don't make our lessons responsive and relevant to the students? The students are talking about the robbery, right? So, so, so even if we hold even if, so even if we don't engage the robbery, the point is the students are interested in the robbery, right? So instructionally, how do we develop curriculum and, and, and instructional practices that are responsive to that? And then the second point I will make before I, uh, I end here is this notion that we are uh, in situations, especially in, in urban environments, where we often are not, re we often don't take up the traumatic experiences Right? So when we say things like, uh, our students are resilient, they're strong, you know, they can get through all kinds of, they can, they can work them, so they persist in the midst of very challenging and difficult situations. But the reality is this, right? Our grown selves, right, need people and need situations and need supports, uh, opportunities to, to talk and opportunities to, to 
to work through challenging situations and so forth. So good teaching is about making the, the, the content relevant to students, but it's also about not only knowing content, it is about knowing to whom you're teaching that content, right? And so if your students have experienced a traumatic experience, right, either firsthand or otherwise, it is your responsibility, it is, it is our teachers' responsibilities to, uh, to, to help uh, those students work in those situations. Thank you.